It has getting... us heading uh, south, which is interesting. Yeah, I think that we may be having nine knots backwards. That's my suspicion. Yeah, I wonder if... Oh, wait. <gasps> there we go. We got it. Yeah, we're definitely going backwards now. So if the wind blowing at you is faster than your speed through the air, you'll actually end up flying backwards over the ground. With 40 knot winds up at 10,000 feet, my friend Nick and I hopped in a Cessna 152 to see if we could make it happen. Lafayette Ground, Vader 20 is at Purdue Aviation with golf ready for taxi. Vader 20, Lafayette Ground, runway 23, taxi via Echo. 23 via Echo, Vader 20. I've never rode in the right seat of a 152, this is kind of weird to me. Yeah, I bet. Uh, you got one guy over here, but you're fine. What's up, Lafayette Tower? We're going to be rotating at 50, climbing out at 67, engine failure below 1,000, just land straight ahead. Just make sure to watch out for traffic and let me know if you have any questions. Who's the pilot in command? <laughs> I am the pilot Oh, there we go. Vader 20, extend upwind. Uh, actually, Vader 20, fly the upwind at or above 2,100 feet, right turn out. Upwind at or above 2,100 feet, right turn out, Vader 20 for 2-3. Vader 20, runway 2-3, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 2-3, Vader 20. 50, rotate. I haven't climbed up to like 7,000 feet in so long. Yeah, we're getting up there, huh? I start having to bank into the wind. Climbing through 7,700, 600 feet per minute. That's actually like kind of ridiculously good. Here we are, Cessna 152, climbing up through 8,000 feet. Once we get up to 8,500, I'm gonna turn westerly into the wind. But the interesting thing is that you know how it's like northeast odd, southwest even. Since it's based off ground track, if we're heading that way, it would be an odd plus 500 feet. Even if we're facing this way, like the uh, VFR cruising altitude. I think you need to write to the FAA for a letter of interpretation for that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, just for the cruising altitude, I'm going to continue up to 9,500. All right. Ground speed currently 30 knots. 30 knots? 30 knots. Not too bad. All right, let's see. So we're set up here at 9,500, turned pretty much directly into the wind. We're going to get set up for a slow flight here, and it should be pretty interesting. We should uh, get set up, so we're pretty much heading directly backwards. And we'll get that third notch of flaps here. All right, so we're sitting up here at 9,500 in a Cessna 152, literally just hovering above the ground. We got West Lafayette off to our left, the Purdue University Airport. I didn't know you got your helicopter license. Yeah. <laughs> What's it saying? I got nine. Nine knots still? Yeah, I think that we may be having nine knots backwards. That's my suspicion. Yeah, I wonder if... Oh, wait. <gasps> there we go. We got it. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going backwards now. I guess uh, just turning uh, directly into the wind was uh, what we had to do. Yeah, we're currently getting pushed 14 knots to... Uh, zero, one, two degrees, which does not match our heading, meaning we're getting pushed this way. Yeah. So we're not making any progress this way. All right, should we recover and head up to uh, Rensselaer? I think so. Let me get a shot at the back for you. Jasper County Airport, automated weather observation. One, seven, three, two, Zulu, weather, wind, two, five, zero, at one, zero. I'll go for runway one eight. We got it 4,000 feet, which should be pretty good. Two, five, zero, at 10. It's going to be pretty, um, uh, kind of a strong crosswind, but within limits. Robertsville, Jasper County traffic, that's November 94286. Left downwind runway one eight, Jasper County. Oh, uh, there he is. <laughs> Yeah, Jasper Kelly, this is RV November 540 with Whiskey here. Clear front and way here, airborne here, almost out of the airspeed. Ethan, is that you down at Jasper? Affirmative, November 94286. This is Ethan. Hell yeah. 
Lewis, traffic on. Jasper County traffic, Cessna November 94286, short final, runway 18. Set up with center line, that's two, circling two, seven. Whoa there. Yeah, I'm going to go around. Yeah. That first notch up. Do you mind if we do one lap in the pattern, yeah, see let's, if I can redeem let's myself? Let's try to redeem yourself. I have no problem with that. Jasper County traffic, Cessna number 94286 is touch and go runway 18. We're going to make left traffic. And now you'll be able to set up the perfect pattern this time. Exactly. But I did catch it all on video. <laughs> I <laughs> might need to uh, yeah, cut that one out. One oh, out. no, I think you got to include that. All right, go 70 on base. Oh, much better. All right. Keep that right aileron on it. There you go. Yeah, get that <laughs> cross and correction there. All right, a little bit better. I'll, I'm happier with that one. Much better, yeah. Jasper County traffic, system November 94286, touch and go at runway 18, departing to the south. Jasper County. Very nice, very nice. You, you do the airline pilot landing. The kick, the rudder at the end. Do you want to take the controls for the way back? Yeah, I'll... Uh, can do that. Your controls. My controls. Beta 20, I didn't observe, 9 miles northwest of the airport at 3,300. Report 3 miles north-northwest, right traffic runway 23. Report 3 miles north-northwest, right traffic 23, Beta 20. Beta 20 is 3 to the north-northwest. Beta 20, roger, enter right base, runway 23, clear to land. Right base 23, clear to land, Beta 20. Very nice. Awesome. Beta 20, right at Bravo 3, contact ground point 9. Right at Bravo 3, ground point 9, or Beta 20, thank you. <laughs> Left at ground, Beta 20 is at Bravo 3, request taxi to Purdue Aviation. Beta 20, off your ground taxi, park via Charlie. Park via Charlie, Beta 20.